Hello everybody and welcome to a new series that I am starting with this video. I've always wanted to, to do a comprehensive mission to EVE where I explore almost or every, if I can, biome on that planet and return a crew of three Kerbals back to Kerbin. But in order to do that we have to do some preparations and well this is the first step. We are going to launch a vehicle, there it is, uh, that will go to EVE and deploy a few, let's say, survey vehicles around and on EVE. So this thing here is the transfer vehicle. We're just circularizing around Kerbin and we are releasing it now. So this thing is full of stuff that I'm going to need back at EVE. But before we go there, let's talk about some other preparations I had to take. First I had to do some uh, relay network around Kerbin and of course some interplanetary network. And maybe I created a Kraken summoning device with this. Anyhow. We have our encounter with EVE planned out right here. It will take us about 1700 meters per second of delta V. And we're off to the races, or well, off to the transfer burn, so to speak. So this is completely autonomous, no Kerbal is on board. And well, I hope I will always be in range of some of my relays I put around the system. So this takes quite a while, so I skipped ahead through it and we're already after a few days, I think it was 80 days travel time or something like that, we're already initiating our injection burn at EVE, which also takes quite a while, so yeah, I'm going to skip through that as well for your viewing pleasure. Okay, now that we are around, well, not really around, it's quite elliptical. Let's get a bit closer. Okay, let's disconnect our first payload, which is incidentally another rocket. So you can see uh, positioned on that rocket quite a few satellites. And those I'm going to need to, well, first off, build a relay network around EVE and also use one of the satellites to perform surface exploration surveys. So you can see here, due to my well angle or inclination, I had to do some plane change maneuvers to get flat. And now I'm going to deploy my surface explorer. This thing here is designed to provide full Kerbnet access, or, well, as much access as possible with the biggest probe core. And it also has, of course, a relay antenna to communicate. And, well, I'm going to need this to actually look at the surface because, as you can see here, I'm using scatterer and environmental visual enhancements, those mods that provide quite some nice visuals. But due to the thickness of the cloud layer and so on, on EVE, I can't see a thing. So I need this satellite over here to plot out, well, waypoints for the away team when it will reach the surface and also to pinpoint the landing location of the return vehicle. But before we can do that, we first have to establish our relay network around EVE. And in order to do that, I'm going to set up three satellites in synchronous orbit around EVE. You can watch my, well, more or less tutorial on that in another video. And I also recommend my spreadsheet calculator for, well, calculating in what kind of resonance and orbits you need to place your satellites. If you want, for instance, in this case, three satellites evenly spaced around a planet in synchronous orbit. Okay, thankfully the solar panels are stable enough to push away from the main craft. And yeah, since you don't need to see every burn I'm going to do, I just skip ahead through the setup process of that relay network. Just be assured that it took quite a while 
to set this up correctly. So we're more than 10,000 kilometers in orbit around EVE, which is the synchronous orbit distance for this particular planet. So we're quite far away now. And we have our relay network, so it's time to deploy the next vehicle. So, but first we have to get a closer orbit around this little purple planet. Yeah, so we need to perform another burn and well, the fuel reserves are getting a bit scarce, so to speak, but it should be enough for our adjustment. Okay, one more burn. I need to do, well, not one burn, but two or three to get around that big fat purple pain of a planet. And yeah, Purple Pain, the title of the series. Why is it called Purple Pain? Because, well, Eve is quite a pain in the behind to get away from once you've landed there. So I thought the title was kind of aptly named. But first we have to get our resource scanner in a polar orbit around EVE. Why do I need a resource scanner? Well, the idea is to deliver a vehicle onto the surface that has no fuel and produces its own fuel on the surface and then gets back up into orbit. And yeah, reason being is that fuel is quite heavy and therefore takes a lot of other fuel you need to transport it. So my idea was like, well, if you've read or watched The Martian, that you send an empty vehicle down on the surface and then make it create its own fuel from the atmosphere or surface resources and so on. And after quite a few burns and almost depleting our fuel, but that is fine, we are now in a polar orbit high enough and close enough to perform a resource survey. And once we've done that, we can, well, view our resource configuration of the surface. And then we can set a waypoint. Fortunately, I had to disable my graphic mods because that nice resource overlay was hidden by them. Yeah, so Scatterer and EVE are quite nice, but they are not very practical if you want to know where the resources are. So this looks quite promising, close to the equator and hopefully high up enough for my vehicle to make the return burn. But in order to make sure that that landing space is, well, spaced correctly, I need to get something down to the surface to verify that. So we're making our first landing on EVE. And this is going to be, well, a tiny exploration vehicle. But first it has to get down to the surface, which means burning through the atmosphere. And look at that, that is really beautiful and really dangerous. But we can manage perfectly. Well, I have to ditch that heat shield somehow, there we go. And as you can see here, it's a tiny rover. Well, the rover is gone now from the descent uh, stage. And it's now on its own. We have a few parachutes and that, and we also have some tiny rockets to well, reduce the impact velocity as soon as we're close to the surface, which is, well, very soon now. There we go, firing those rockets. And we have landed safely, all wheels are intact, and it's time to ditch that descent thingy. Okay, rovers on the surface. It has a surface. Uh, it has a solar panel to generate electricity, and it has this nice little resource scanner, which shows me how much percentage of ore is in the ground. So yeah, I have to choose a site where I can land my return vehicle, where there actually is enough ore for it to fill up. Unfortunately, again, those visual mods are quite beautiful, but they, well, 
result in me seeing almost nothing. But at least we have a suitable landing site for the return vehicle at 1600 meters above sea level, which is okay and it has 13 point something percent of resource in its surface. Okay, time to do some housekeeping. Well, this transfer stage, it has performed admirably, but we don't need it anymore, so it's time to put it to a fiery death. Which means, well, of course, letting it burn up in ease of atmosphere. Well, there could be some nuclear waste, but let's just imagine that the atmosphere and gravity crush those pesky radiating things into nothingness as you can see here. And we also have our satellite transport vehicle thingy and this as well has to get down to the surface. So this is the final operation in this episode of Purple Pain. And well I hope you stay tuned for the next few episodes and I've got some other things up my sleeve so there we go. Eve is connected and we have our landing site, so thanks for watching, goodbye.